Hi, this is one of my three Earth projects to support COP26 together for our planet. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how I convert this Bluetooth card from Dell Inspiron 1420 to a USB Bluetooth adapter which can be used in desktop computers. As you all know, we're supposed to practice three hours reduce, reuse and recycle. It also applies to the electrical things. We need to reduce electrical waste which can damage our art. Reuse whichever can be reused if possible because producing all those parts needs a lot of metals and other things. To produce all those things can damage our art. And if you cannot reuse it, maybe you can recycle it. So these are the parts I harvested from Dell Inspiron 1420. I still reuse a hard disk. I transfer this RAM to other computer. I use this violet card in my desktop. And now I'm going to change this Bluetooth card to be a USB Bluetooth adapter. To get that Bluetooth card, I have to open the bottom of the laptop. It is in RAM bay. This is RAM. It's anchored here. I have to take out the screw, take it out. Unfortunately, the wire is connected here and then it was here. So I have to open the whole cover, including the motherboard. Then this is what I got. It is Broadcom BCM92045MD Bluetooth module. It is also called Dell Wireless 355. The original connector has 10 wires. They are labeled here 1 and 10. So 1, 2, 3, 4, like this order. And the colors are here. I just I illustrated here to be identify easily. When I connect this wire Bluetooth card to a USB, I need to know which pins are for which one. So I look for the information but it's not available in the internet. I got this one RD530 Bluetooth card for Dell. It has 10 pins out. Then they said all those pins are same as this Bluetooth card. So I refer to this chart to identify which pins are for which one. So here pin 1 is crown, it is white. Pin 2 is D plus, it is gray. Pin 3 is D minus, it is purple. Pin 8 is 3.3 .3 volt power supply, it is pin 8. So these are the pins, these are the wires I need. If I use the original wires, these are the correct colors of the wires I need. The reds can be hidden somewhere, I don't need them. So I need only 4 wires. Because I need to connect to USB, USB use only 4 wires. But in my case, I use a different wires because these original wires are so slender and it's not easy to strip off and connect to others. So I find this connecting wire, the connecting cable, 10 wires, same colors but arranged in different orders. So in this video, I use these wires. The colors are different from what you can see in original one. So please don't take the color of my project instead just remember the pin number so here pin 1 black pin 10 white here is in different order so I have to choose which wires I'm going to use and connect to USB this is a USB cable I got it together with a Nokia power bank 10 years ago the covering sheet it's broken because it's too old but the wires are still good the wire the sheets the insulators are still good so it has four wires red for power supply d minus white d plus green and black instead of black it is grayish that is ground so i will connect these wire to four wires here so those four wires are this is the color illustration 
So these those wires are eight pin eight, three point three volt supply. Unfortunately, I have five volts power supply from USB, so I need to change from five volts to three point three volt. Another pin is pin two. Pin two is D plus. It will be connected to green color wire in USB. Pin three is D plus, so it will connect to this white color. Then pin one is a ground. It's black color in USB. So this is how I'm going to connect my wires in Bluetooth card to USB cable. Only this power supply I cannot connect directly because I need to reduce from 5 volts to 3.3 volts. So there are a few ways to reduce from 5 volt to 3.3 volts. One is use a resistors, but they said if you use a resistors, once I use a load, the power will drop some more and it will not function well. So abandon this method. It's a good one. Use this module to reduce from 5 volt to 3.3 volt. Power will be stable. But I don't want to buy a new one. It is not a money matter. It is because this is recycle and reuse project. The other option is using diodes. Because when I use a diodes, the voltage drop from one end to another. When we are connect when you connect them to the electric electrical supply, the power drop. So I harvest those diodes from one of the malfunction DVD player because I have many circuit boards from the old malfunction electrical devices. I harvested them, I got one and four zero zero seven diodes, more than three diodes I got then they have, when I check them, they have forward voltage drops 0.6 volt. It means if I connect these diodes to 5 volt, at the other end will be 4.4 volt. So if I connect three diodes in series, the voltage from 5 volt to 4.4, 4.4 to 3.8, 3.8 to 3.2. So total will be 1.8 volts drop from one end to another. That is what I need here. So the output will be 3.2 volts instead of 3.3 volts, but it should not be a problem. So at the end, this will be my wiring diagram. But please bear in mind, the colors may be different. Please remember, memorize this pin number only to connect. This is what I got. It's a good practice to draw a diagram before you connect the thing so that you will not make mistake here the green will go to pin 2 white will go to pin 3 this is white wire white will go to pin 3 then black will go to pin 1 and red will go to 3 diodes 3.2 volt out then pin 8 so after I got them these are the wires I don't really need them but their tips exposed so I will bind them together I need to cover it I need to cover them that their tips with a hot glue and another problem is here because diodes are soldered together their connecting points are exposed and when I press them they may touch each other and create short circuits so I have to cover those connecting points with hot glue and prevent them from being pressed to each other. And all those connecting points, soldered points, must be covered and insulated. So this is what I did. Sorry, it's a bit blurry. I taped them, hot glue, hot glue. Then I stick this adapter here, bend those wires and put this uh, these uh, diodes together put them in a housing this housing is made made by one of the cut which was sent together with the sim card so i cut it make it as a housing the, all the diodes wires are inside this is a bluetooth card this is usb pin head usb wire head Then 
I wrap them in the tape to be low code. So at the end, this is my USB Bluetooth adapter made from Dell Wireless 355 Bluetooth card module from Dell Inspiron 1420. So I will test it, connect it to my computer. My computer uses Windows 10 64-bit Windows. At the beginning, it set up the Bluetooth adapter. It shows a generic Bluetooth adapter. But later, it installed appropriate driver automatically because I connected my computer to internet at the time. In case if you cannot find the driver or if it doesn't find the driver automatically, this is the website you can get Bluetooth adapter driver for BCM 92045MD. Here is a short link so that you can copy easily. You can install this program together with the driver then this Bluetooth adapter will work well. So here is what I got after it installed the driver Bluetooth device then Dell True Mobile 355. I want to test whether it really work or not. Although I see them, I saw them, I don't trust. I connect it to Redmi Note 4, my phone, send the code, accept it. This is my Redmi Note paired already. Then it show here Redmi Note is already connected. Then I try to connect to another one i12 headset connecting then i got headset paired and it's here so when i check the blue icon i can open the setting all those functions are here including sendify receiverify i even tested sendify from the phone to the computer i receive it so this bluetooth adapter i made from Dell Inspiron 1420's Bluetooth card work well in Windows 10 computer or Windows 11 also I tested I had to install the Bluetooth adapter driver but it works well so together we can save our planet reduce reuse and recycle thank you for watching